Sir, I just request two minutes of uh, indulgence of your time of a topic which is not related to the budget. With your permission, sir, I will try to read something in Marathi. Konte kapde ghalaiche hech tharonar. Kai khaicha hech tharonar. Kute zaicha kadi zaicha hech tharonar. Kai bolaicha kai nai bolaicha hech tharonar. Kai share karaicha kai forward karaicha hech tharonar. Mag ya hukum shai manaichi tar ani bani cha rag he amchavar kardnar. Yenchavar tika keli ki rashtra doha cha khatla taknar. Loka shahi saati andolan kela. तर आम्मी आंदोलन जीवी मनु आम हेटा लोक हो आता तुम्हें काय करना श्वास को अवस्था संकट अपने दार वाट पहा हावे तुम्हें विरोध करना का उबे रहना विरोध में सर आई स्टैंड युअर एंड आई आस्ट फॉर युअर इंडलजन जस्ट फॉर वन मिनिट टू टॉक समथिंग विच इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू द बजेट दी ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर इज अ व्री डिग्निफाइड लेडी आई एम अ वुमन वी बोथ हैव daughters and we are very proud i'm sure she is very proud of her daughter and i am also very proud of my daughter so what has happened unfortunately in karnataka and my young friend i don't think is in the house right now from karnataka who spoke exceptionally well i may have disagreement of views but he did speak very well i want to bring to the notice that there is a gentleman can call him gentleman a uh, uh, member of the mla of bjp from karnataka has today said rapes increasing because of women's clothing sir i repeat rapes are increasing because of women's clothing hijab pehne to bjp ko dikkat hai kapde dusre pehne to bhi unko dikkat hai moral policing bhi karenge aur thought policing bhi karenge i actually urge the honorable because the honorable minister is from elected from karnataka i would ask her for justice i hope she will intervene whoever that mla is this must be condemned and i request this entire house sabke ghar mein bibi hai sabke ghar mein bacche hai is we should not tolerate any such thing and unanimously this house must condemn if any man is saying that we get women get raped because of their clothes i think it's shameful it's condemnable we have daughters we are very proud look at the example of our honorable uh, finance minister she wore a beautiful sambalwari sari on the day she gave the budget how dignified she looked from that orissa it was a beautiful handloom sari we all take pride in our indian clothing how does it matter we don't judge each other on clothing as a matter of fact i want to compliment her because there was there were increasing handloom to 12% gst she brought it down to 12 5% i thank you on behalf of all the weavers of this country which i am very proud of we are very proud of our indian traditions but if any man in this country is going to demean women like this we all in one voice all the members must raise it and say no to this sir thank you sir another small point that the, i think the young member is not there i just want to put the record straight he spoke very aggressively against dynasty which is okay is every right in a democracy i just want one small question to ask you who is ravi subramanyam he is a bjp mla from karnataka does he know him and if he knows him by any chance are they remotely related to each other but i am very proud of whose daughter i am i am not ashamed about it at all i am proud in the house that i was born in but i want to ask him that what is his story and i just little one small learning note pritam munde poonam mahajan hina david khadsa raksha khadse sujay vikhe patel jyotiraditya sindhya who also is now a minister sir piyush goel dharmendra pradhan all my very good friends i am very proud of them i am all part with just the common thing i have with them we were all born in political families and i am not ashamed to be born in a political family i am very proud to be born to my parents just to come back to the budget the fiscal ah one more small point that the young man made that he said that business there were no businesses created uh, pre modi ji era post modi ji era just to remind him he talked about bangalore wipro if i stand corrected sir is probably also in bangalore Infosys is a very large company in India. Also happens to have some presence in Bangalore. I am very proud because we have them in our state. The big vaccine they talk about, sir. The vaccine company of Pune Valas, who they just this government has given a award to. I think Padma Vibhushan or Padma Bhushan he has got. 
that also company comes from my district that man started from zero he went to school with my father so i know the entire background so these are all companies vipro sipla infosys kirloskar ambani bajaj walchand group kalyani virodhyas punawala dooth sir all companies in the last 50 years who have done and contributed so please don't run down these families they have contributed to wealth generation not centric but to everybody and they have created wealth and they have created jobs and have influenced our life so let's not demean all these families who started from nothing now to come to the main points of the budget sir sir in the fiscal deficit i still remember arun ji here we used to very keenly here we are much younger members very inexperienced and we used to take points from all of them when they read the budget be it pranav da be it chidambaram ji after that arun ji and there was this frbm act which atal ji's government had brought it and yashwant sena atal ji's government right rudi ji thank you and i still remember and a lot of times we all discuss governance is about continuity there are good things from this government which we are proud to take and we are happy that we could continue them and perform deliver superior results for this nation so when we did this frbm act your government did we continued it for 10 years where 3% was decided that would be the fiscal what deficit so 6.9 i'll come to that uncle 6.9 is what she has agreed to come to now now if it's from 3% raised to 6.9% have we agreed because if it's a law which we have all continued i am not such a finance expert so this 6.9 is what we have achieved as a fiscal deficit so have we made those changes in parliament when a land and arun ji had committed to keeping at 3% so just for my inexperience in finance and very limited knowledge of finance i need to know because this is connected to the 1 lakh crores which has been given to the states so 1 lakh crore i am grateful to you for giving it to all the states but i have a small question since my knowledge on finance is not so good sir that if 3% of this fiscal deficit will it be same thing applicable to the states when they borrow money because you have given this 1 lakh crores to the states now most of these programs which will go through will be center driven now be it all kendriya yojanas bm pm gsy which again you have changed the thing now it's 60 40 we have sarva shiksha abhiyan pm avas yojana icds everything what's the center wants to implement in our states they will decide how much we spend how much it i mean nishikant ji is sitting here he was singing the praises of the railway that has come to goda we are very happy if he says it's an aspirational district it's doing better we are happy for him congratulations but my friend here krishna who is sitting here was saying that 6000 crores his state needs to give for railways they don't have that kind of money so by giving this 1 lakh crore with this fiscal deficit with application of the frbm act and with this pushing all the center programs will this 1 lakh crores really help all our states is my question if you could kindly in your reply explain that how will it help our states please abana to the extent that i am responding now you don't uh, cut the time given to honorable thank you that's Supriya very Pur. kind of you ma'am thank you i'm i will elaborate during my reply but because it is important for a member to and this was mentioned in the budget but because it's important i thought i'll intervene so that everybody else can also benefit from it the 1 lakh crore which is being given to states sir because we want to speed up infrastructure uh, and capital expenditure is over and above what the states have been given under their borrowing limits so it's not going to affect their borrowing limits one second there is no interest on this amount there is no interest being charged because center is giving it and center is giving it for 50 years they don't have to return it till before 50 years and if everything is fine in terms of inflation and otherwise even otherwise after 50 years what would that one lakh be so keep that in mind sir that is one thing which i want to convey through you to the honorable member second when uh, the state is being given the money it is more with an in intention that several of the projects which they would want to complete they can use this amount in total we are not saying we give matching grant you give this much this is exclusively for you to use fully so i thought it was a a way in which we are supportive of the states and therefore we have given it so one it doesn't affect your frbm two it doesn't give you any interest burden three you can use it 
for any project which you want to do. Finally, sir, this question of FRBM, 3%, Arunji, we honor all that. But that very same FRBM Act has a provision that you can, in case you breach it, you, you can always come to the house with a deviation uh, statement. Any government which breaches it, and I think uh, I can probably say it off the cuff, subject to correction, during the UPA government, several times it was breached. And since you were alert, you would come to the parliament and say, sorry, deviation, and seek the parliament's indulgence on it. So now, deviation and breaching 6.9 this time, I would wonder if there's any member in this house who will have an objection, and least of all, would Supriya have an objection for it? Years of pandemic, one and a half years, now nearly two years, and the only call that I've had from everybody was spend, spend. That's what is going to give the stimulus. Well taken, we spend. It showed difference. We are spending now, it will show a difference. And naturally, you will breach the 3% uh, fiscal deficit. And therefore, we go to 6.9. And I don't want anyone to say, think that, oh, wait, this is unusual. Pandemic was unusual. And therefore, 6.9, it's a responsible fiscal deficit. And in fact, that is a kind of fiscal deficit where we've tried to do enough balancing between keeping up spending and being fiscally prudent. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Supriya ji. Supriya ji. Supriya ji ka record mein jayega. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So does it applicable to the states? If she could kindly in her reply let, I am I'm happy to wait very patiently for what she has said. And I appreciate for... Thank you very much, ma'am, for being so indulgent. The other question was about GST compensation. Today, my state has 28,365 crores of GST comp uh, compensation pending. So I would like to request the Honorable Minister that if they are indulging and giving us so much flexibility, I have two questions. When will all our GST money come, point number one? And point number two, with this, will 6.9 our borrowing also, will this help us if you could indulge the states in more borrowing because i'll give you a small example now pune nasik semi high uh, high speed railway the project has come we have tried to put some money together but we have there's no mention in this budget so we don't know where we really stand in such a big project the same thing is applicable to all the cesses now i want to make this humble request Mehta, Mehta Abji also talked about the cess now cess is something which actually takes away from the states it, we have no problem if they take it for health, yes, education, yes, yes, yes. I understand. Kindly that just two minutes, sir. Just two small points I will make. I understand that I, I don't have that kind of time. But just two very small points that if you're using health, you're taking cess for roads. Look at CRF as an example. CRF was in, in, the, roadway, uh, in, the, uh, in the road transport ministry, which is moved now to finance, which I've really not understood why this change was made. But if this cess is collected, is it really all improved? And the CAG report, I'm not claiming, the CAG report said a lot of the cess collected is actually not used. Like if it's collected for education, it's not used for education. If it's raised for health or roads, it's not used exactly for that head, which I don't want to make an allegation against anybody. But this is mismanagement of monies, especially I appreciate what she's saying. It's, a, it's been a misappropriation of funds. So I'm not making an allegation, Nirmala ji, please don't get me wrong. But I just need to know, because we are in a pandemic and states are under a lot of pressure. And last one small point, I'll keep the rest points for my next speech, madam. I, the Honorable uh, the Prime Minister yesterday talked about coal. And he was very kind enough, I still remember his speech. And I, that, for me, is a very painful topic. Because I still remember when we sat on that side and they were on this side, they really talked about coal mismanagement. And I was really deeply pained that, is this really true? Eventually, what happened is another story, sir. But when we talk about coal, I still remember this government saying that 3 lakh crores is the money they will raise. I corrected Stan. Yesterday, the Honorable Prime Minister, in his speech and Rajya Sabha said that in all the coal, I would have actually spoken in detail, but I'll just make it as small and crisp as I can. They said that they have managed to raise only 
14,000. Now, where is 3 lakhs? Where is 14,000? My number could be even wrong. But they've not been able to manage, they've not been able to generate the kind of money in coal auctioning when they are. So when we did it, it was considered as corruption. Thank when you. you do it and don't get the money, Thank it's okay, much. which is slightly unfair. So I think we are all for transparent and fair system. There is much more I wanted to actually Thank speak you. beyond coal about smart cities. So much money is indulged, but maybe I can. Thank speak you very much. Next. Thank you. But I appreciate her efforts during the pandemic. All I'm requesting her is the states are all. I don't use the word broke, but under a lot of financial stress we need the big brother to support us thank you. we are thank willing you to much. walk an extra mile i hope you walk an extra mile so that we grow india together thank you thank you very much sri pradyot bordolai ji so in november 2021 the honorable prime minister visited ayodhya